So joining us to discuss the Fed's decision is Peter Schiff, chairman at Schiff Gold and founder at Euro Pacific Asset Management. Peter, pleasure to have you on the show. Thanks so much for, for coming on. No taper is no surprise to you. What exactly are the Fed so afraid will happen if they did taper? Well, it's the purchasing of assets, uh, treasuries and mortgage-backed securities, that is hoping to prop up this whole bubble economy. And so if the Fed were to actually do what they're talking about doing, they risk toppling the economy because they're going to pull the foundation out from under it, which is why they only talk. They don't actually act. Of course, if they never talked about taper, then that would be a bigger problem because people would realize the severity of the position that they're in. So basically, they continuously bark about tapering, uh, but they don't actually bite. And of course, tapering is still QE. It's not like they stopped doing it. They're just saying we're going to do a little less of it. And they're saying that they're basically never going to raise interest rates because that's supposedly what happens after they're finished tapering. Uh, but that ain't ever going to happen. So the Fed, the, the, the chairman said today that this bond buying program, it is helping the Fed reach its employment goals, maximum employment goals. Do, do you agree? How, how does buying Treasury notes and mortgage bank securities actually help people find work? Well, I think it helps people find the wrong kind of work because what the Fed is doing is sustaining asset bubbles. And so you have a misallocation of resources. And so what the Fed is helping to do is misdirect labor from places that it would ordinarily be absent the Fed's easy money policies to the places that it's going pursuant to those policies. But these are economic mistakes, misallocations of resources, malinvestments that are ultimately going to have to be liquidated. And all of this is making the economy poorer, not richer. The Fed is the biggest roadblock that we have to true economic prosperity. And finally, you mentioned savings. One thing that kind of dawned on me as I, as I watched the chairman um, earlier was that at the moment, most Americans are getting next to 0% interest on their deposits in the bank, mostly down to the Fed's low interest policy. But at the same time, we have the Fed officials projecting inflation to run over their target until at least 2024, their very underestimated target by, by a lot of people's estimates. So how, do, how does that work in an economy exactly where your, your savings are just diminishing year after year after year? Well, it doesn't work. That's the problem. And in fact, the inflation rate, even the official inflation rate, is probably at least triple what the Fed admits to. And the real rate is probably even higher than that. So savings are being destroyed. You have negative real rates because you're getting zero nominal. But if inflation is 5 6%, 7% a year, that is a massive destruction of the purchasing power of money. Nobody is going to save under these circumstances. But the problem is, for a real capitalist economy, savings are the lifeblood, because it's under consumption and savings that finances capital investment, that allows for increased productivity, rising living standards. But if the Fed is punishing savers to the point that nobody wants to save, then you've destroyed the very foundation of the economy. The Fed is trying to replace it with a printing press, but it doesn't work. That takes you into an even worse crisis, potentially hyperinflation, which is where we're headed if we don't uh, veer from this course. Incredible. Peter Schiff, appreciate it. Thank you. Sure thing.